Alright Leo, it's Elle here to do your What's Up Wednesday reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, thank you for being here. Alright, let's get started. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Leo with a clear and concise message from you. Alright, so Leo, looks like... um. Some of you, okay, if you're a Leo man, somebody walked away from you. This will be your third party. This will be somebody that you brought in on a relationship that you were already in. So this is somebody that um, you were in a relationship, you were feeling like you want somebody else or need somebody else, or maybe you just stumbled into somebody and you brought this person in on your relationship. This could be over for you with the Ten of Wands. It was karmic. It was a lesson to be learned. Uh, it could have even been borderline toxic, but definitely a karmic situation where you're just doing a lot of stuff, doing this, doing that, going here, talking to this person, doing all of this stuff, and it has no clear definition of where it's going or what y'all are doing. It's just a lot of stuff being done. Look how this person carries these ten wands. Their head is down. They can't see where they're going. That's the nature of this relationship. It was just like just doing shit, carrying shit, and where are you going? What are you doing? So you have to know that this relationship had an expiration date. Uh, for you, Leo, if you're on this side, if you are the other woman, then you could have walked away. Or this person walked away from you, I don't know. But there's a dynamic of something being over. Um, someone just woke up to their worth and was like, I'm better than this. I deserve better than this. I'm not about to be third uh, string to anything or to anybody. I, I deserve to be first. Um, I have a lot to offer. I'm beautiful. I'm abundant. I'm creative. Um, someone also could be moving out or you ask somebody to move out um, or you just don't know where this is going. Somebody also wanted to have a baby or a, something about a baby or the element of, of a, creating something together is there. I don't know. Um, with the Ten of Wands, it says that um, th this relationship is too strenuous. It's too hard to maintain. Um, it's too hard to bear, to, car to carry. Uh, for you, Leo, or the other party, I don't know. There was some masculine energy that didn't have any intention for a relationship. If you're if you're not a Leo, you're a cross watcher. I don't know who you are. Get in where you fit in. But there's a masculine energy here who didn't have any intention for this relationship. Um, they were just out, just doing stuff. You know, it's just something to do. And not to say that they don't have feelings for you or they never did, but think about this. When you enter into college, you sign up for college, you get accepted, you pay the money or however, um, you have a you go into college with a plan. I'm gonna be here for four years, maybe even three and a half. I'm gonna get my degree, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do you have a plan, right? You have intentions for your college your collegiate uh, um, endeavor. You need to have that same, you go into that same mindset when you meet people. Um, when you meet them, you get to know them, and you decide that you like them, then there needs to be a plan. But people don't date like that. People don't think like that. People just get with one another have no plan no course of action as to where this is going and then we end up with the ten of wands with it being a heavy burden to carry because we didn't know where we were going in the first place we were just doing stuff add another wand also this is somebody who could have had more than two people this person could have gotten around or they get around they could be uh, messaging you, Leo, or you're messaging them. I don't know. Uh, Page of Wands here. Somebody just wants to dip their toe in, explore, see if they how far they can get with you, if the door is still open, if there's opportunity for them to jar it open. 
uh, for them to bogart the door down. I don't know. Somebody wants to definitely message you. And it's an explorative message. I want to see how far I can get. I want to see if they'll text me back. I want to see if they'll call me back. I want to see if they'll respond to my DM or to me liking their post or The advice of the cards is you need a big effing hug because this was um, a tumultuous situation. I don't really said the damn word. Um, it was it was just drama. It was drama from the start. It wasn't going far from the beginning because um, it just it didn't have any room to. This also could have been somebody who has a lot of prestige and maybe even they're famous or have a, a level of fame maybe or notoriety in their own little town or state or whatever. Um, this person also could be married. There's an element of somebody married or in some real strong commitment that, um, that doesn't look like they want to unravel themselves from that. So this is your reading, Leo. I hope that it resonated for you. If it did, go over to the website, book your reading there, take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Also, you can donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Take care.